To Memorial Day across this country, a moment for all of us to pause to say thank you, to remember those we lost while serving our country. Today, President Obama laying a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery. Among the stories the president shared, missing soldier Joseph Gant, who served in the Korean War and never came home. His wife waiting all these years, and after 60 years, she was there as his remains came home just this past December. Clara never remarried during those 63 years. And now, 96 years old, she was there to welcome him home. And today, she was there again, waving to the crowd, there to honor her husband and all of those who served, all of those we've lost. Across this country, the American spirit. In Arizona, a widow remembering her husband, William Murphy, who served in World War II. In New Jersey, this mother honoring her son, Ryan Ionelli, who served in Afghanistan. And the children across this nation today with their signs reading, thank you. Four-year-old Erlen finding her grandfather's name, a Navy veteran. And in Fort Worth, Texas, a seven-year-old Cub Scout placing flowers, moving his grandfather to tears. His grandfather, a Vietnam vet. It meant that he cared about so many people giving their lives for our country. And on the field, the Atlanta Braves standing side by side with members of the military as they salute. This photo from Spokane, Washington, catching our eye, and so many others on Facebook. Vince Comstock welcomed home after a nine-month deployment in Afghanistan by his wife, Kristen. And just look at their two little girls, giddy with joy. Their hug would come next.